नमस्ते जी वेलकम बैक टू द सेशन नंबर टू ऑफ योगा एंड नेचर सीजन टू विच वी आर डूइंग इन कोर्ग दिस ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस टूडे इज प्रैक्टिस वी आर डूइंग राइट नेक्स्ट टू दिस ब्यूटिफुल स्ट्रीम दिस वाटर स्ट्रीम we will talk about those not the five elements that we have in our body but that one element water right so we be seated comfortably in cross legged position keeping palms on the knees in chinna mudra spine long and active shoulders relaxed facial muscles calm and relaxed eyes we keep closed taking a moment here breathing in breathing out just relaxing there breathing in breathing out just relaxing there starting with settling settle down physically we already have i want us to be there mentally i want us there to be emotionally spiritually in all the possible ways on this mat for about next 50 minutes you just be with yourself just this physical body and this prana this breath that's it preparing ourselves for today's abhyasa with that we join hands to chest and we will begin with three omkaras all together breathing in last one ah uh... drop the palms nicely generating some heat generating some heat rub more and covering the eyes covering the face open the eyes look into the palms relax namaste okay then we will start with warm up as you know towards the end we have a challenge also so today's challenge i uh, this is going to be challenging for me as well so let's do it we will come to comfortable cat and cow position so i'm keeping my knees and hips in one line i'm keeping my wrist and shoulders in one line okay join me here we know this right cat and cow position so inhale arch back look up exhale rounding the back chin to chest inhale arch back exhale round the back three inhale arch more exhale round the back four inhale exhale five inhale arch back exhale round the back 
all right you can be seated behind be here next we have dynamic bujanga so we move from shashanka to bujanga and back to shashanka you just see once so i will be here in shashanka with inhale i am sliding forward coming up shashank bujanga and then going back to shashank asana five times we do this and then we'll move to the next one okay join me in shashank asana okay one inhale slide forward chest up exhale back to shashanka good job two inhale forward exhale back three inhale forward exhale back three inhale forward exhale back continue inhale forward exhale back last one inhale forward exhale back good job walk hands back and you can now stand up walk feet hands come back up shake legs shake hands if it's needed next one what we're doing from the standing position just see once i am taking my both the arms back i'm holding the back of the thighs and walking hands down 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 arching back with that so after holding the thighs walk hands down 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 arch back arch back staying there for five breaths only then we'll move to shivananda sura namaskar okay so you can open the feet about hip wide roll shoulders back catch hold of the thighs roll shoulders roll shoulders roll shoulders now walk hands down you can look front or you can look up drop head back one breathe two hold Three, four, five. Releasing slowly. Good job. Nicely done. Coming to front now. Okay. I'm sure you have practiced Shivananda Surya Namaskara before. We're going to be doing six rounds of Surya Namaskara. Okay. the last round we will do it with the variation so you can come to the front of the mat i'll be just going to this side feet together those who are doing for the first time you can watch the first round second round onwards you can continue okay so first round you can see those who already know let's continue from the round one itself exhale namaskara joining the hands to chest inhale lift hands up and arch back exhale fold forward keep knees soft initially fingertips over the entire palms touching down inhale right leg goes back drop this right knee foot flat hip down chest up holding the breath high plank dandasana exhale drop the knees chest chin down on the mat point the toes inhale slide forward bhujanga we just did it in the warm up as well lift hips higher tuck the toes parvata exhale ashwasanchalana right to the front left knee down foot flat hip down chest up exhale left leg also joining front inhale lift hands arch back exhale pranamasana second half inhale hast uttana exhale pada hastasana inhale left leg back ashwasanchalana holding the breath right leg back dandasana exhale knees chest chin down inhale to bhujanga exhale hips higher parvata inhale left front ashwasanchalana exhale right front pada hastasana inhale hands up exhale pranamasana 
releasing the hands done with the round one moving to the round two okay all together exhale namaskara inhale hands up and arch back exhale fold forward inhale right back ashwasanchalana dandasana ashtanga namaskara nishashin bhujanga chest up parvata hips higher ashwasanchalana right to the front padahastasana left to the front hast uttana up pranamasana exhale hast uttana up padahastasana exhale ashwasanchalana left dandasana ashtanga namaskara bhujanga parvata left ashwasanchalana inhale padahastasana exhale lift hands arch back namaskara exhale release the hands let's continue third round exhale namaskara inhale exhale inhale hold the breath exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale hold the breath exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale arch back exhale prayer pose release just three more we are doing exhale namaskara let's continue inhale and arch back exhale and fold forward inhale right back dandasana ashtanga namaskara inhale exhale inhale ashwa exhale pada hasta inhale arch back exhale prayer pose inhale exhale inhale hold exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale release about to finish now let's continue exhale namaskara inhale arch deeper exhale fold forward fully press palms inhale ashwasanchalana hold the breath dandasana exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale up exhale pranamasana inhale continue exhale almost there now inhale left hold the breath exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale pranamasana release and the last one we do with a bit of variation there right so we get back more warmed up for the back bend practice okay this is one of the challenging practices for me as well let's continue exhale namaskara 
now with inhale i want you to hold the elbows i want you to take elbows behind the head push back arch and hold one two breathe three elbows hands away from the head four five release hands fold forward exhale right leg back ashwasan chalana knee down foot flat push hip reason down lift hands up arch back inhale hold there one as deep as possible two three four five release palms down dandasana high plank exhale drop knees chest chin down inhale bhujanga and stay here one feet together and flat two chest up three working on opening the mid back here push the chest region four five good job tuck the toes lift the hips exhale inhale right to front ashwa sanchalana exhale left to front pada hasta inhale hast uttana exhale namaskara inhale second half hold elbows arch back stay here now one breathe two breathe three arch a little more four a little more five release hands fold forward pada hasta exhale left leg back ashwasan chalana lift chest up raise arms and arch back one breathe two three four five releasing palms down dandasana exhale ashtanga namaskara inhale bhujanga hold here one breathing in breathing out two three four five tuck the toes lift the hips parvata exhale left to the front ashwasan chalana right to the front pada hasta hast uttana inhale pranamasana exhale release that was a good practice ah huh? good sarunaskara practice with a bit of challenging back bends holding there now i want you to just open the hands relax there open the feet keeping that gentle smile always on in the session keeping eyes closed take a moment here breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out continue that relaxing that breath let it be normal again see so the body is made out of five elements right and water i was saying is one of them you can open the eyes so water is one of them right so these five elements the im the the you know diseases that we have most of it is because of the imbalances of these uh, five elements and water plays very important role here right so the imbalance of the water can cause the disease like cold or uh, mucus right those kind of diseases with the practice of yoga with the practice of pranayama you can absolutely control that right 
like the the sweat that you see the blood that you see it's all because of this water element in our um, body right the sweat okay all right then we you be here if you want you can wipe the sweat if you want you can have a sip of um, water and uh, you quickly just see what we're doing next from parvata we can start you just be there see i am taking say right leg front i am keeping say left knee down like how exactly we kept for ashva sanchalana but in this position like how i am keeping my front leg 90 ankle to knee the same back leg the knee to hip that is in one line right keeping that back toe tucked and finding the balance there beginners they can just lift hands and arch back regular practice knows whichever knee is in front the same hand you keep in front the other arm you lift up arch back take it back hold the heel now after holding the heel this palm hand from the front lifting up arching back there holding there for good 10 breaths one side drop the palms go back to parvata same you do on the other side 10 breaths right so legs 90 90 position in ashwa sanchalana hand going back holding there let's try and do it now join me in parvatasana okay and bring that right leg front ashwa sanchalana maybe a little back than the usual ashwa sanchalana so that my left knee and hip also in one line right is there already now place this right palm on the right knee lift this left hand up 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 all the way behind back hold the heel lift this right hand up now arch back hold here one long and deep breathing now Two, three, four, five. Watch more. Six. Good, good, good. Breathe, 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 breathe. Seven. Almost there. Hold. Eight. Nine. Ten. Slowly then. releasing this side the struggle is absolutely real i can understand right i am struggling there too but let's continue that's why we're here we give our best in this 50 minutes or 1 hour whatever we have right so we go back to parvata let's try again from the other side left leg front right knee down right knee hip in one line bring it little front if it's not keep that toes tucked in left palm on the left knee lift this right arm up take it back with a gentle smile on the face huh hold that heel where is it seems like too far lift this left hand up arching back one breathe in and out two long breathing three i am yet to achieve the best position of this but if you can drop this left shoulder more down four hold five hold six good seven hold eight nine ten release this left hand release the right hand place palms go back drop the knees let's take a quick moment in shashank asana <clears throat> okay breathing in breathing out there <clears throat> breathing in breathing out there and relaxing the back walking the hand slowly easily back now sit back upright in vajrasana 
you be here i am going to demonstrate the next asana it is uh, it's very 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 challenging kapotasana for me at least i don't know about you um kapotasana so there are two ways of um, getting into that posture i will try and demonstrate both of them or the easiest one at least uh, then we can practice right if you are a complete beginner if you are not good at uh, back bends like like this guy <laughs> so you can also just do the beginner version of that asana right i am going to demonstrate first for the beginners what you can do if you can't do the entire asana you can either just keep palms on the waist or keep palms on the back push hips forward hold it here or if flexibility allows for the beginners go for ustrasana this stay here for 10 breaths release take a moment again try that second time for the regular practitioners intermediate or advanced practitioners kapotasana is very interesting though standing on the knees from here join palms to chest i hope i don't fall right so pushing hips forward arch back arch back arch back take hands fully back see if you can take hands on the mat press palms see if you can keep elbows down and stay there the second one place palms push hold here and then release slowly then you can come back up with the support of elbows there okay i don't know that wasn't close enough to the perfect pose but i hope you got the idea at least for those who practice the back bends who can do it right so option 1 or kapotasana a where you keep elbows down hip off the heels hip lifting high thigh pushing forward the kapotasana b you place palms and like how you lift up in chakrasana press lift up press lift up extend hands that's what we're doing okay so beginners either you do ustrasana this way or ustrasana holding the heels regular practitioners taking arms from here or you can like i was saying you lie down in this position vajrasana then take hands behind press lift and try keeping elbows down or as close as possible then try b where you keep arms fully extended i will give my best you give your best and let's practice then right standing on the knees okay a lot of pressure is going to be there on the ankle so be careful a lot of pressure is going to be there on the back so be careful take it on your in your own pace right you don't have to really achieve it in just today's class it takes time it takes years of practice for me also years i think is also not enough i think decade would sound better for me okay then standing whichever variation you want to try you try the easiest one ustrasana or the full you go back let's see kapotasana a we try and hold for five breaths kapotasana b extending the arms we hold for five breaths let's try join me here stand on the knees or you lie down and try from there you don't have to really try it from here join the palms i'm trying again let's see if you can also push thighs forward 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 arch back arch back arch back strong back take hands back then try and keep elbows down push thighs up and forward one breathe two breathe three breathe four five now instead of elbows keep palms press and extend one two three four five really slowly drop elbows down try and come back up now okay you must have seen the kind of pressure we were getting on the ankles 
you can come back up on the toes maybe move knees forward and back just giving a relaxation to the ankle joint relaxation to the ankle joint and then we go back again taking a quick moment in shashank asana breathing in breathing out relaxing there breathing in breathing out relaxing there and then we can slowly easily come back up all right that was super intense super challenging for me next we have raja kapota intermediate practitioners or advanced practitioners because you are regular and if you can do the full raja kapota which is holding the toe and taking it here i can't do that if you can try would want to try you can or beginners like me we can uh, just try the raja kapota halfway how i'll quickly demonstrate then we can practice so joining here in parvata be there just watch first bringing right leg front okay left foot flat those who can do full raja kapota bending this knee holding the toe rotate and bring it here if possible i can't do that like i said but if you can you go and rest of us we'll do the easiest one interlock the fingers or keep it on the thigh or just keep fingertips down push hip reason down try and arch back chest up hold there for 10 breaths then you can just relax here five breaths right then same we do on the other side as well yeah join me then in <coughs> parvata here okay join me here join me here join me here parvata hips higher right leg to the front keep this knee down those who can go with the full raja kapota go ahead you're the best you do it right those who can't you stay with me walk hands back try lifting chest try arching back hold there now one breathe two breathe three stay four stay five six seven eight nine ten releasing this you want to relax that back keep hands down elbows down take a moment here wow all right i don't know where you are practicing at this moment but i am really enjoying this right next to this beautiful stream the the sound of this stream is uh, is itself is is a meditation right if you ever uh, been next to this i uh, hope you also get a chance to practice sometimes maybe next to the stream okay releasing this go back to parvata let's do it from the other side go back go back go back go back go back now left leg front drop the knee stretch that right leg back try and bring this left foot little front i am going to be just here enjoying this you if possible hold that toe bend this knee hold and twist lift up if you can do i can't like i said okay push hip reason down arching back it's not only about asanas right yoga is not only about asanas and i say this when i can't do these certain asanas right that's that's the trick that i have <laughs> okay walk hands back push hip reason down those who can't do the full one we still have the opportunity to press palms open back stay and stay one breathing in breathing out two long and deep breathing three long and deep breathing four five Six, seven, reaching there, reaching there, arch more. Eight, nine, ten. How beautifully, yeah! 
Slowly then, we again relax here, keep elbows down, taking a moment to just relax the back, release the stress. One, breathing in, breathing out. Two, <clears throat> three, four. We do have a stream, but unfortunately, we don't have any rafting going behind. If you remember the glimpses from uh, yoga and nature from Rishikesh, right? That the scenery behind that we have, we had. It's a different feeling altogether here. Okay. Walk the hands back and again go back. You can again take a quick moment in Shashankasana. Breathing in, breathing out, relaxing there. <clears throat> okay. Sit back upright. Next we have Parshwa Tanurasana. Right? Five breaths each side we'll try and do. Dhanurasana, we know we just hold the ankles and we lift higher. All we need to do is just flip the body to one side, hold five breaths, flip the body to other side, hold five breaths, and we're done with that as well. So we lie down on the chest. You just be there and see if you do not know. If you know, you can just lie down, take position. Don't try the asana, just take position. So I'm catching my ankles here. I am lifting this higher and turning to one side fully. Hold there for five breaths. Come back to the center. Same, you turn to the other side. Hold there for five breaths. Parshvadhanurasana. Okay. Lie down. And let's catch hold of our ankles. Those who can't hold both the ankles, they can just hold one. And extend the other hand and the leg lift this higher. Those who can hold both, hold both. And then inhale, lift up, turn to the side, right side, exhale, hold there now. One, stay and breathe. Two, breathe. Three, hold, knees closer. Four, five. Inhale to center. Good, 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 good. Higher. Exhale to the left side. Stay there. Where is that smile? Hold. One. Stira Sukham Asanam. Two. Right. Three. Hold. Four. Five. Inhale, center higher, release, exhale, releasing the legs, chest up, again take a moment in, Shashankasana, good job, nicely done, nicely done, okay, I am not only practicing uh, the asanas, but Right under my mat, these little stones are there and those are giving me the acupressure as well. So I'm getting the benefit from the nature, right? Not only from the asanas. Okay, we come back up. Next, which is not really my favorite asana, but um, what can be done? We need to do it. I was the one who wrote down that asana for you and for me as well. So, obviously I need to do it. Chakrasana, for those who can do it, will do it. Those who can't do it, will do Setu Bandha, right? So, after Chakrasana, you see we have next as well. But you see first Chakrasana. So, all we need to do is just lie down, right? Lie down, do Chakrasana first. Then we have... Dvipada Viparita Dandasana as well. So for Chakrasana, we simply just lift higher, as high as possible. You see once, lift as high as possible. This, hold here for 10 breaths. Then we release, hug the knees to chest. Take a moment. For the next one, we lift up. We try and keep elbows down there. 
then we try and extend leg out as much as possible. If you can extend it fully, you lift toes fully up, only be on the heels. If you can't, just try and extend as much as possible. Push chest up and back. Hold for 10 breaths. Roll head slowly. Release. Again, hugging the knees to chest. Right. I thought I couldn't do it. The next one. Dupada Viparita Dandasana. I did it. Yes. Let's do it now. I want you to lie down on the back. Chakrasana. Okay, wherever you're practicing, when you lie down, what do you see? A fan, a ceiling. I see a beautiful sky. This is one of the benefits we have in practicing in an open space, right? Lie down, take position. Those who can't do Chakrasana, like I said, Setu Bandha. Ten breaths, release. Again, Setu Bandha. Ten breaths, release. Those who can do Chakrasana, Chakrasana, then Dvipada Viparita Dandasana. Lift up Chakrasana, drop elbows, extend legs. Just demonstrate it. Let's do it now. Lie down. Take hands on either side of the head and inhale, lift higher. Let's try and hold for 10 breaths. One, breathe. Two, breathe. Extend hands. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Slowly releasing. Nicely done. I am saying this to myself as well. Nicely done. Okay. I'm kind of proud of myself. Right? I uh, see. So, for some of us, I think you might have also observed this. Um, Certain movements or asanas, it takes years. Certain movements or asanas, uh, with the magic, you can do it in months or weeks or days. Right? So that's there. It's okay. That's with all of us. Next one. Beginners. Again, Setu Bandha. Lifting hips. Regular practitioners. Dupada Viparita Dandasana. We will try as much as possible. I am also trying. You also try. We're here just to try right we're not the masters we're just here to try give our best okay again position inhale and lift up 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 drop head drop elbows push head back roll back try and extend legs as much as possible if you can extend fully lift up toes be on the heels one stay two stay Three long breathing will help remember. Four, five, six, seven, almost there. Eight, nine, ten. Slowly releasing. Good job. Good job. Hugging the knees to chest again. Beautifully done. Remember that. Beautifully done. Take a moment. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax here. You did absolutely great. And this is I'm saying to you. And to me as well. Okay. Alright. I want you to cross the ankles. Roll up. Sit back up. And Paschimottanasana. Counter for all these back bends we did. Okay. Keep the knees bent. Just catch hold of the feet, the toes, or the edges of the feet. Inhale to lengthen spine. Exhale, slide heels as much as possible. You don't have to do the full Pashima. We're just relaxing the back here. Just the counter pose. Stay and breathe. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
8 i didn't know pashumottanasana can give me this much joy 8 i can feel my back how it's it's getting relaxed just by simply folding forward 9 10 wow slowly walk hands back just one last we do that is jatara parivartana the lying down twist dropping knees right and left and then we'll just do one pranayama brahmari then we'll relax then we do challenge then we go home i also go home i think you are already at home if you're practicing through these online classes right all right so we lie down you can just quickly see once interlocking the fingers keeping palms under the head bend the knees drop knees down to one side five breaths drop knees down to other side five breaths okay let's try and do you can also lie down i'll quickly adjust this lie down on the mat on the back you lie down fully okay <clears throat> and then interlock fingers keep palms under the head lift knees up bring it closer to belly inhale there exhale drop it down to one side and look to the other side hold there bring knees closer to elbow one breathe two breathe three breathe four gazing to the other side Five. Inhale, lift knees up, 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 up. Change. Exhale to the other side now. Hold here. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, knees up. I want you to cross the ankles again, roll up, sit back up comfortably now, okay. Sit comfortably, Brahmri Pranayama, remember we did it in the previous session as well. So what we are doing, keeping ears closed, just this humming bee sound. Mm, five times, so you breathe in deep, while breathing out. Mm, humming bee sound we do five times after that i want you to just lie down in shavasana okay let's do it five times on your own you do do not open the eyes lie down on the mat go ahead five times breathing in and start mm. Okay, once you are done, I want you to turn around slowly, then you can lie down on the mat, lie down on the back for Shavasana, quick short Shavasana we take, arms a little away from the body, fingers curled, toes relaxing to the sides, eyes closed softly. Surrender fully now, no more efforts, complete relaxation, complete rest, complete rest, complete rest.
letting go of any kind of tiredness, uneasiness, observing the changes in the body, especially your back, especially the lower back. A sense of openness, a sense of lightness over the back. And with that, we gently move fingers, we gently move toes, head side to side, nice and easy. Then you can join the feet, stretch the toes, stretch arms over the head, nice and long stretch. And then you can turn to the side, sit up, sit back on the mat, sit back up comfortably. We will... Join the hands to chest and completing the abhyasa with one omkara, three shantis. Breathing in. Om. Shanti. Shanti. Shanti Drop the palms, generate some heat Covering the eyes, the face Open the eyes Relax Namaste Okay then, this was about today's practice Very challenging for me, I don't know about you Must have been challenging or must have been easy for you now, coming back to the challenge of the day or the asana of the day. So, what we're doing from Malasana, we need to go back to Chakrasana. This is for intermediate or advanced uh, practitioners. You can quickly see. I will demonstrate first. So, this is Malasana, right? What we're doing from here. Lift hips up. Keep right palm behind this lift hips up then we need to go back to chakrasana rotate so i'm pushing my knees forward lifting hips up rotate this hand try and take chakrasana from here this up high and then slowly release or you can come back up from the other side also right so this is the challenge for today you know what to do right perform this challenge and uh, upload it on the Facebook community called Stronger Together with Cult Fit Live. Right? And yeah, so this is it for today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so very much. This is Anil, Anil Kala. I will see you in my next class. Thank you. Namaste ji. For such workout videos, download the Culprit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.